Hello class. So we are going to continue our art focused on texture and pattern. Um, we've done the um, Yayoi Kusami pumpkins with pattern and we've also used texture plates to rub our crayons on top and get um, texture and pattern using texture plates. Um, today we're going to draw this cute little bear. Now we're not gonna draw him full size um, because he has a lot of detail. And if we do him full size, it will take us a very long time. Um, plus I thought it would be cuter if we did it on a half sheet of paper because what if you wanted to make a Christmas card out of this? Um, if you remember the construction paper Christmas card I did with the plaid pattern on the outside, that would be really cute to make this guy small enough to cut him out and fit inside that Christmas card. All right, so these are very simple shapes, very easy and simple shapes. Um, first thing we're gonna do is about halfway on your paper, about the middle section. Let's do his neck. We'll do this line. You can see there's like a little bit of space here, a little bit of space here, and it's a curved line. So we're gonna mark a little bit of space and then just connect those little dots with a slightly curved line. Um, his shoulders are gonna be so easy. Look, that's just a line that slopes down. And you can see it doesn't have to be perfect. On this side, look how far it goes down before it goes off the page. And it goes off sooner here. So just really quickly, two lines that go down for his shoulders. Um, his ears, I kind of know that I want the ears to fit in the corners here. So I'm actually gonna draw my ears first. So it's like, C's, the letter C. And then I'm gonna connect those ears across the top, and then I'm gonna connect the ear down to the sweater. All right, so now the eyes, so easy. Two black circles. The nose is a triangle. an upside down triangle with the point to the bottom. Brush off those crayon crumbs. Then his mouth is real easy. We're gonna take one straight line down and then one over to the left and one over to the right. We'll give him some whisker freckles they did a lot more, I only did four. I feel like four is enough. All right, so his fuzzy face. We're gonna use, remember how I talked about minus signs and equal signs? Um, math symbols being a part of art. Um, we're gonna use those dashes that you see typically with minus signs and equal signs. And we're going to, now if you want to this shape right here, we're gonna outline it, kind of a triangular shape. If you do wanna give it a very light, like you can barely see this, so that you'll know where to put the lines, I like to do that, it helps me. Um, we're gonna outline one row of dashes, just real quick, dash, 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 dash. Just keep going around quickly. Um, we're also going to outline his eye because those, that fur is going to run into his nose fur. So outline dash, 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 just do it real quick. Um, in his ear, if you want to make a very pale circle to help you, you can. And then dash, 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 really quick, really easy. Again, on the other side. Dash, 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 dash. All right, now you're just gonna fill in some more fur on his face. Um, you could go with a second round of fur around his eye. 
just really quickly, one circle, two circle, kind of stopping when you get to the nose. And then around his mouth, um, we're just gonna go around the outside, dash, 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 dash. Around the outside again, dash, 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 dash. And we're just gonna keep going with those lines of dashes until we get to the outside. And we're gonna go on the other side and do the same thing, dash, 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 dash and just keep making those dashes. And then the top of his head, just keep a curved line straight across, dash, 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 dash. And if you feel like there's an, one that you need to fill in, go ahead and do that. Dash, 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 dash. And then I'm gonna go I feel like I have this whole round thing here available, so I'm just gonna go around the very outside of his head and keep making those dashes. All right, and the last thing you wanna do to finish the fur on his head is complete the ears. All right, and the next thing we're gonna talk about is making the lines and the patterns for the sweater.